Hello everybody, and welcome to my guide for the rocket launcher that you actually need GameSense to use well. To start this one off, we have a little something special. An interview with a blaster main! Wait, those exist? So, Saul is a representative of every blaster main, aka the only one I know. Which blaster do you main? Vanilla blaster. Why do you use blasters? You can shoot around walls and don't really need to hit them with directs after all it's only two shot indirect. What advice would you give to any vanilla blaster player? Don't go too near to anyone if they somehow get close to you chuck a bomb at them to scare them off and land a direct which is hard knowing that the fire rate is slow as hell. Well that was some advice from an actual blaster player who uses blasters regularly. Now let's throw that all in the garbage. I'm more qualified to talk about this. When you play Blaster, you have two options. The one-shot direct with the freaking great sound design just... <clears throat> or you can just not give a shit and just get the two indirects. As the human embodiment of not giving a shit, it's pretty obvious which of the two I prefer. It's obvious that indirects are just better. Directs are harder to hit, and while you can hit them, well, that would take effort. Who cares if they're really the only way to defend yourself if you get rushed down? That doesn't mean anything. Just don't get rushed down, idiot. You can attack around corners and just hit shots that are harder to hit at weird angles. Or just have a backup if your aim decides if it wants to be worse for a few seconds for no reason. Now that the main weapon is covered, let's move on to the kit. Now we have the worst sub-weapon, the auto bomb. What are you gonna do, kill someone with it? Murder is illegal! It's too small to keep up. Look at its stubby little legs. It's basically one of those wind-up toys. What are you gonna try to use if you get a general idea of where your enemy is to juggle them around and predict their movement or force them away from you? You don't have that level of game since you're using the blaster! Just shoot all over the place like you're having a seizure, you'll probably hit them with splash damage anyways. Big Bubbler is obviously terrible for the weapon too, it forces people to get close to you to attack you. You're already weak there so it sucks, what do you mean it makes you stronger at your optimal range? If the special weapon you won't always have doesn't cover the weakness of a weapon that you can learn to deal with, then it's terrible for the weapon! So, final opinion? Well, it didn't have one of the worst sub and special weapons in the game, that's a good thing. 